There is no prophet among us. There is no one to tell us how long we see not our signs. Listen to me. The testimonies that have arisen and will arise tonight from Quantum Leap will sustain the name of the Lord for the next two months. While the ones that will happen next week will continue. While the ones that will happen next week, there is always something to talk about. Have you heard what happened? This woman had triplets after 12 years. While you are reminiscing on that, another one comes. Do you know that poor boy by the roadside? One prophetic word. What church? I don't know. All I know is that he was blind, but now he can see. There has to be testimonies. Not once a year. Not twice in five years. It's too slow to keep God afloat in a territory. You need consistency. What happened in this service? Eh, no problem. We look forward. No, 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 no. What happened? What did God do? Are we together? Yes. An open display of miracles, signs, and wonders. A compound that has five or six neighbors that continue to laugh at one, and then he returns back. And in two weeks, God grants him grace. He returns back. I just got a job. He returns back. Next week, his wife got a job. He returns back. The wife is pregnant. He returns back. The child takes first position. The neighbors will act like they are not observing, but they are counting the blessings. A day will come, they'll say, please, um, when you are free in the evening, let's keep a chair just outside. Has, has that happened to you? Where I used to stay before, my neighbor is a herbalist. A well, not a, well, a traditional healer. Yes, really, really, jokes apart. Truly, not, not mocking him. Wonderful man, I love him with all my heart. And on t they used to take him to Lagos, pastor, to do his ministry there. So when I came there, God, things went, I felt bad myself. I honestly felt bad what happened to that man. He went down as if they cursed him. And one day, when he saw the people who were coming for counseling and all that was happening, he just asked for, he said, by evening, please, when I'm free, he needed to see me. I was excited because I said, wow, will this guy get born again today? And then we sat down and he said something. He said, see, this thing I see, that I've, I'm sure I've heard that he's a habit. I said, I don't even know, I'm not even aware. And then he said, it's a gift. It was transferred from his own father, all of them. He just had the ability. He said, but since I came here, Things have not been working. And then he said, well, he, the true story. He said he doesn't know what I do. But maybe he thought maybe I use a charm or something. And a well-meaning, sincere person. Not a bad person. Just an ignorant person. And he said, that can I share with him, you know, whatever it is. We can work together. After all, we love ourselves. What is there to fight? Uh, then I told him something. I said, well... I appreciate your sincerity, I appreciate your pain, I sympathize with you. But the truth is that the power that comes from Christianity is a derivative of a relationship. You don't need to know the name of a herbalist to receive his charm. But it is the people that know their God who are strong and do exploits. You don't come from God and take anointing, you will know him. That intimacy, the fruit of your intimacy, the reward for knowing him. Is the grace that comes on your life. The man left happy but very disappointed and um, the rest is history. An open display of miracles. I really believe in miracles. Charles and Francis Hunter, precious mentors who have gone to be with the Lord, they thought that one miracle is equivalent to a thousand sermons. I used to think it was an exaggeration but I believe now. Our generation is hungry to see God manifest. Our generation is not hungry to fall down. They are hungry to rise up. They want to see God rise in a way and a manner. People want their lives to change. Let me tell you, whilst we are sitting here now, imagine what is about to happen to you in a few minutes from now. Just like a plane lifting and you leave a realm and that's it. 
The way a plane lifts will never matter. I mean, in one minute, and it's, it's above. That's it. That's how fast it comes. Miracles. Signs. Let me go back and not find my yesterday again. Replaced by my tomorrow. Because I met God. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs. I believe in wonders. As systems that preserve God in a territory. Hallelujah. There is no ministry today that will thrive. When there are no genuine testimonies. And thank God for the testimonies we have. But we have to trust God to shift to levels. Where one testimony will keep someone awake in the night. And he will say, God did it. Pastor, if it's a lie, just tell me. I will not tell anybody. But is it true that he did it? And he say, here is the evidence. For the end of all argument, it's an evidence. He did it. That someone who came to house on the rock, confused. He was strolling to look for a rope and die. And just found out that here is a church. And he strolled in and sat down. And then a few months and years, he becomes the chief usher. And his friends see him and say, I thought you were dead. He said, I didn't die that day. <laughs> I was on my way. I didn't find a rope, but I found a church. I, I meandered into that church. And I found something that changed my life. Miracles are powerful, though. Have a healthy respect for signs and wonders. Have a healthy respect for the performance of God. Have a healthy respect. Let me tell you sincerely, when you can allow a display of the mighty hand of God within a territory, you will marvel and wonder at what happens. A day will come in this land on Sunday, if you are not in church, you will be lonely for the next five hours. Because everybody is on his way. And they shall say, let us go to the house of the Lord. To the house of the God of Jacob. He shall teach us his ways. To happen. It will first start with one person in the compound. The compound that did not even have a bicycle. In two weeks, three cows belonging to one person and he did not buy any one of them. And then he brings worship CDs and puts it in the cars. Evangelism materials. You see, our proud generation will always act like results are common. When they say they are what, is, what is special there. Not when it is consistent. When it becomes consistent, it will get to a point where you say, please, something has to be wrong. I know your children, your child repeated primary two. Now your child has received double promotion. What happened? And you say, there is a God that sits in heaven. This earth is not just governed by men. There is God. He's alive. Hallelujah. Testimonies. I say, see, let me tell you this. As a church, members want to know what God is doing. What is God doing? Thank God for what he did. But what is he doing now? Who did he heal today? Who did he lift today? Who did he bless today? I want to know that your product is still working. Can I use this please? Permit me. Thank God for this. But just because it was clear and clean and nice last year does not mean it is the same. So the companies will repackage it and re-advertise it. And let you know it is not only the same, it has come with a better brand. You made a way you made a way not just this week alone even next week you made a way you know by the privilege of God's grace I see and hear all kinds of miracles and all kinds of testimonies.